What's up, peoples? This is uh, two members out of the nine of the reality of the reality show. What's it called again? <laughs> South African. No, the real lives of South African Americans. Yeah. So, hope everybody's doing good on this lovely day. Uh, we're going to chop it up and have a good time, some laughs and jokes. I'm Stace. And I'm CBC So. Big Red, Big Spoon, aka. How many names you got, man? Man, I got a whole. Uh, what's, yeah, I got a lot. I forgot the word I was going to say. But look, y'all, we are doing this. And this, if y'all, you know, lose us, we got three cameras going right now. And I am doing mine from Facebook. He's doing his from YouTube. I'm doing mine from Facebook. Just trying something new with this equipment we got. So bear with us. How are you trying something new on your battery on those days? I mean, when they blow up, we just check on this one. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay. I didn't prepare it because it was just a spare of the moment. Okay, high quality. Yeah? So, today's podcast, again, <laughs> our brother Assad on our last podcast made up a word. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it was, was the first time you made it up or when you said it, but the word was <laughs> denigrification. What a hell of a word. Denig I can't even say it sometimes. Denigrification. So we want we want to figure out how to denigrify <laughs> some of you niggas. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't gonna say that word. Oh, oh yeah, we try. We try not to say that word today. Quality of the picture looks great, guys. Keep it up. Thank you. You know what? See where thank you. Um, my brother TP, man, you said our, our volume is uh a little sketchy sometimes. Uh, sound, I'm sorry. We're working on that. That'll be fixed hopefully in the next couple of days. So, you know, the pitch will be good. The, the sound will be even better. So just bear with us. Hopefully the next podcast it'll be like perfect. So, I saw it. <laughs> so, uh, you're going to say something? Oh. So the thing with the, the word de <laughs> that word is crazy. Word. Yeah. So, it's the, the, the type of Negro. Oh man, I don't like this. That we don't want over here. Yeah, Th that's the that's the bottom line. You know, those people need to stay away because they're not doing anything in the state. So, you know, why do we think they're gonna benefit us over here? So I am so confused right about now because of the word. But it's a lot going on here. So let's get down to it. You ready? Mm -hmm. I want to have some fun first. How was your day? How was your day looking for houses? Oh my god, man! I'm gonna tell y'all right now when y'all come in looking for houses, man. The pictures do not like they don't match the houses. I mean, that's my experience. I looked at about what eight houses, and none of them match the pictures. Double online, so. I've been bamboozled and wasting my dog on uh, <laughs> Uber money, Uber money all over Africa. And I, I, I have the one that I found, I shared that with y'all. And uh, the dude came back and said that he only wanted to do, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, corporate. Corporate. Corporate contracts. Contracts. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody worked for Samsung, Apple, or yeah. something, something like that. This is after he listed it and, and, and did all this negotiating and all this and that. And he came back and said he only wanted. Contracts. See, that's that kind of denigrification shit we need to we need to get rid of. <laughs> you know, because he told us what he was going to do. Red got approved for it. He came back. He changed the numbers. Red adjusted to the numbers, and then it was approved approved again. And then he went back again and said, "Sorry, we're not going to do it." Yeah, that's what happened, right? After the whole weekend of negotiating, yeah, he came back and was like, "Nah, we just want to do corporate contracts." That's some shit. He got something cursing, man. Uh, it's the military in here. It's the military, military in here. We, we, we know for cussing, smoking, and drinking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. 
So what's the plans next for, for the house? How you, how, what, so what, what's going on next? Uh, I got a couple of more that I got to look at. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple of realtors looking for stuff. I'm going to keep on searching until, you know, I get tired of it. I got one that I can settle on, but Y'all know me, I, I don't like that. But I just, you know, I'm on my own, you know what I mean? They've been gracious folks, you know what I'm saying? Let me not, you know, say that. But, you know, you want to scratch up. Okay. Okay. There's something else weird. Oh, peoples, tomorrow is a, is a holiday, I was told. Uh, what's going on tomorrow, y'all? Is there anything, any, any, any brides going on? Any, any uh, day parties? What's what's going on? Please let us know in the chats because I am very very interested. Because today was a beautiful day, and I damn sure and I sure wouldn't mind. I sure wouldn't mind, you know, us hanging out tomorrow with some with some lovely people, eating some good food, and just kicking it, man. We, we, we want to be invited. Yeah, to, yeah. I it think. Just, go ahead. Go ahead. It just don't feel. I'm a cussing, man. I, it's, it feel it feel weird trying to hold my tongue, so I'm gonna try my best to be a saint here. All right, mm -hmm. give them. <laughs> uh, let's let's read a few of the con oh, condoms. God damn. What's read on your mind? A few of the condoms. Okay, a few of the comments. I already said hi to Claudia. Hi Claudia again. See Ray. The quality picture looks great. Thank you. Marjorie, hello everyone. Hello, Marjorie. Uh, Art, what's up, my brother? Art, can't wait to get back. Um, Daryl, October is Freedom Day tomorrow. Okay, um, exactly what is Freedom Day? For, uh, for the people who don't know, like me and Ronnie. Um, yeah, it's Freedom Day tomorrow. So explain that. Is there anything going on besides drinking as usual? If there is, please let us know so me, Red, and Ronnie can pop up and have a good time with you guys. Because we haven't met a lot of you guys yet, and we're looking forward to that also. Ronnie be running to people in the streets all the time. He is a celebrity in these Josie streets. I stay in the house. I'm in two places, like I said before. The liquor store and pick and pay. And, and four-way smokes. Very close. Very close. Yeah, I be running to, to people all the time, man. So like you said, I, I feel like a celebrity in these streets. And it'd be... It'd be it's weird, you know what I'm saying? But it does something to your psyche, you know what I mean? To go places and, and people know you, you know your name and want to know about you, man. That do, that do a lot for a black man, man. To come from a place where, man, you just trying to make it every freaking day. You know, but we ain't going to get into that. No, nah, keep, nah, keep it going on, man, because that's a part of the, uh, the denigrification. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spreading love, spreading yeah, love. Yeah, loving your brother, man. They speak here. They may look at you for a long time, and because they're curious, you know what I'm saying. A lot. We found out a lot of people ain't seen Americans before, Black Americans before. You know what I'm saying. So they looking at us like like stranger danger. You know what I mean. But then you just do the the nationwide like that, and they they instantly get to speaking to me. So. You know what I mean? I love that here, man. Speaking and, and, and we gotta hold each other down. You can't come with that crap in the bucket mentality that we, you know, bring from the states, man. Yeah, uh, the plantation mindset. Lost, damage, disconnected of, of who we actually really are. Because we really are, again, this is the, this is the topic, you know, I'm trying to like work it in piece by piece. You know, it's it, that's what it is. It's like, uh, like Ronnie said, the crab in the bucket mentality. Um, we got to stick together. Uh, and that's what we're here for, to help help each other out. And y'all, let you know, I can't, I can't pronounce everybody's names. But, you know, what Ronnie can. Ronnie need this right here. So I can't pronounce everybody's name that good, but Ronnie can. Hey, you gonna put me on the spot but now nah, you're good with that. This you good with that. Some Diesel. I think that's what it says. Hi, brother. How about that? <laughs> Hi, brother. Uh, morning. Cold place at morning, uh, 27th of April, 1994, when the first Democratic election was held. Okay, that's what's up. So, cold place, what's going on tomorrow? Is there anything popping off? 
But um, okay, let's get back to the to the rest of it. Hey, for my Facebook fan people, that's it. I really think I'm the shit, famous and shit. But I'm not. <laughs> oh, I cussed again, man. See, hey, so can y'all can y'all hear me on here? Can y'all see me on 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 the Facebook subscribers, uh, friends? Yeah, because they're friends on Facebook. Oh yeah, they're subscribers on uh, YouTube. No, they, they they my family on YouTube. Ah, that's that's, that's nice. my family. That's nice. You know, that's my family too. No, you just said. But this your family. Ah, you yours. No, we on ours. This is um changing the narrative. Oh shucks, it wasn't supposed to be on changing nice. the narrative. I'm sorry, y'all. This is supposed to be on how the joint. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Let me get to Oh, there you go again. Oh. See, see the black man as your brother and treat him as such. Yeah. How do you feel about that? that that's what we got to do, man, because uh, we lacking that, man, because black, us black men, we got a lot of bravado, man. You know what I mean? We feel like we, but we've been raised like that, not, not, not needing uh, another brother or, or crying or always got to be tough. You know what I'm saying? Man, you got to leave all that stuff over here. Because when you get over here, like, everybody don't do the same things that we, we accustomed to doing. Like, they, they, they'll hug you. You know what I mean? They, they, they say stuff that you be like, nah. you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they love and they, it's different here, man. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's different here, man. And I wish that we could treat each other like that everywhere, man. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I agree. I think um, I, I want to get to more of what we just talked about, but C. Ray, I think C. Ray said it best here. We're just curious because we don't see much of you guys here. See Plus, you guys. what we used to see on TV, like Prince of Prince of Bel Air, made us, made us believe all you guys are rich. <laughs> Ooh, no, we can get on that topic too. Go ahead, go ahead, talk about it. Thinking we rich, talk about it. So. The price boosting. Man, if it don't got a price on it, then you better be ready to negotiate. Because uh you gotta deal with a price. You gotta deal with a price. Like the stuff with the house. Man, it went from furnished, twenty thousand rent. And we already was having that discussion the whole time. And then when I said that I liked it, he came back well. We got to double the, the deposit, you know what I'm saying, because uh, it's furnished. And I'm like, mm, we was already talking about furnished with just 20,000 rand. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of stuff. Then he came back and raised the rent. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we got to, the, the Ubers, everything be, when you, I, I'm just talking for black Americans. You come over here, just be aware that you got you can negotiate prices, but just be aware that people are gonna raise the price on you too. Not everybody, but but some do. Yeah. And I understand, you know what I'm saying? Because our dollar goes far here and, and man, it'd be helping a lot of people. You know, our dollar helps for real. Yeah, I agree. Uh Code Play said, please don't change who you are. It's okay to bring your culture. Just don't change who we are. I don't know how to change, man. You know, my wife told me a couple of days ago, she said, well, she said that she asked. She said, do you think if this reality show kicks off, uh, am I going to change? I don't I don't think so, because, I mean, I, I'm who I am. You know, uh, even even when me, me and my wife lived in Baltimore, we wasn't making a lot of money. We was living check to check. We moved to Houston. Made a, little bit more, made a little bit more money, but I still remain the same. You know, so Stacy's who Stacy is, man, and you ain't got to worry about that cold play. Bear with me, y'all. Uh, my battery's about to die. Negotiate, but don't look desperate. You know, today, today I was in a mall, and um, I saw a really nice painting that I wanted because I'm trying to get a studio like a podcast studio inside one of our rooms. And this guy had a very nice painting of like, uh, uh, it was like a, a lion, an elephant, and a couple of a couple different animals. And I, I loved it. 
and it was just hanging on the wall. So I asked the guy how much it cost. So he went to the computer, started hitting some keys. And he came back to me and said, 1,400 rand. So in US dollars, that's about 75 bucks. So right then and there, I was like, you know what? This guy's trying to play me. So I'm like, nah, I'm good. So he went down at 1350. Uh, I said, man, really just 50 rand? He said, okay, 1320. So I'm sitting there like, yo, this dude is trying to play me for real. So I'm going to walk I'm going to walk away. But I said, yo, I really want this picture. So I turned around and I said, okay, I'll take it. So he said, do you want to wrap it? I said, yes, please wrap it. So he walked away to two other ladies that was uh, on a desk in the back of the in the back of the office. And he said something to them, and both of them started laughing. The two ladies he was talking to started laughing. And I looked, I'm like, well, what is he laughing about? As he's wrapping my picture, both of them looking at me and laughing. I walked, I walked out the store, y'all. I walked out the store. And I really want that picture, but I walked out the store. So, I don't know. It might have been a good price. I don't know. But just because they was laughing, it just made, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. Right. But that's the part, that's the part of the, you know, that's it is what it is. What it is. So, I'm about to let y'all know if y'all lose me on my Facebook, uh, just come to uh, YouTube and find me. You know, because uh, this battery is about to die. It's not Charles. See, yeah, I told him that five minutes ago, y'all. But it was a test, man. I was <laughs> testing out. I was, this was a dry run, man. Not a wet run, but a dry run. Okay, okay. Um, Pause. <laughs> hey, that's this thing we do. This, this guy, day, this gentleman right here, he, um, he, has, he has a way of saying things, man. You got to be on point. He'll, see, he'll call you out. He'll see, call you out. be yourself and love who you are. That's right there. It says that, you know, from what you just said just now, you said this guy has a way of doing the saying this and whatever. Uh, be yourself yeah. and love who you are. I'm about jokes, man. I love having fun. And I'm about cussing. Mm. So um, if you got uh, uh, you faint at heart and you can't handle a little bit of cuss words, well, hey, I don't know what to tell you. This is not the channel for you. You know what I'm saying? Because Big Spoon, you be, be cussing. I don't cuss a lot. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. You yeah. cursed that man out the other day that almost hit me. Oh, you did? Yes, you do. You didn't either? Oh, he had to get the business. Yeah, he, he, he was on his ass. <laughs> there you go. And me chitted. He was about to get, get in his ass. See, Ray. Pause. See, oh. <laughs> C Ray says, uh, I would have also done the same. That's disrespectful. You need to be very respectful when doing, with, with dealing with customers. I need my glasses on. Right. Don't bite the head that feeds you. I'm about to take a little bit of read. Go ahead, man. I, I I'm a little glasses. bit younger. You know, no glasses. You know, I can see a little bit better 2020 vision. I got 2020 vision, too. Just, it's just from afar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just from afar. But let me get my glasses. Go ahead. Take your hand. Handle it. Handle it. Okay. okay. My hair. Now uh, that Red has taken over all oh, the podcast. Let me see if you can do that. Nah. Those look fruity. See, you see, he, pause. He, he, Those look fruity, y'all. Uh. Really? Oh my God! These not you ain't got the twenty twenty vision. That's that's for my glaucoma, man. Oh, you got glaucoma? You smoke the UV too? That's for my glaucoma. But I don't smoke the gas. But I need to. Yeah, ain't nobody like Gerald Levert looking good, day, dog. I sure do, right? Man? I need to wear these. Clannis says, man. "Yes, you do." Ha 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 ha. Okay, Clannis. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you know what, man? I want to have some fun and crap some jokes, man. But there's one more thing I want to talk about you here. You need to get your glasses first. I don't know what he had. They're not in my back. But there's one more thing I want to say, and then we can figure out a way to crack some jokes. Yeah. We need to love and protect that black woman. Was, was that a joke? No. <laughs> oh. No. No, that was a joke. I'm just... No, that's the thing. We What's need up, to baby? we need to love and protect that black woman by all means. You know, I have a friend that um 
some guys said some bad stuff about her. And um, I didn't have to jump to her defense because I know she can handle her business. But just me being the man that I am, I had to set the guy straight. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Protect your woman. I know my wife, she knows. That's my number one job. Yeah. So there ain't no way in the world I can call Baba Zulu and tell Baba Zulu something happened to his daughter. And I'm and I'm here just chilling, you know, living my life. I can't do that. Right, right. And I, I, I protect my women too. I'm talking about, you know, I got six girls. They're my own sisters. I got four. Yeah, so uh definitely gotta protect. I'm very protect well, I used to be overbearing protective of my sisters, man. They can tell you when they walk down the street, I used to be covering them up so they Nobody can ride past and see they booty. And when they look, and I'm looking right at them, like, nigga, don't look at my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, man. <laughs> Yo, I, I remember one time my sister was hanging out with this one guy, and I got I got three other brothers, you know. Everybody's like my height, like 6'6", 6'5", 6'6". I got one brother that's a runt, and he's probably like 6'1". And it was all of us and my sister and her friend. And we was all ready to jump on this guy, man. For no reason. Just because that's our sister and we love our sister. But, Ryan, let's try to get to some jokes, man. What happened when them kids started running after you the other day? Oh, man. That was, I, I, I need to make a short. That's, I was supposed to make a short of that. If y'all haven't went and seen my video when I went to Deep Snoop. Deep Snoop. Um, it's, the, it's the hood, man. I, and I went, man. You know how to... Uh, remember the Ali movie when they was like... Ali, Kumbaye, Ali, Kumbaye. And he was following him and he was cheering and stuff. Man, some little kids came up behind me and they was they were singing and dancing, man. It was it was wonderful, man. I, I had a good time. Even though I was tired as hell, because I done walked around the whole district folk. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's a lot of uh what's it called? Incline? Incline. Oh, my knees was hurting so bad. My neck, knees and back. <laughs> All of the above. Your, 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 your knees and your back? My knees and my back. My neck and my back. And your my neck knees. too? Everything. That don't sound too good. The whole, the whole spinal. What Mike Tyson said. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. Everything was hurting, but it was it was beautiful to have them kids, you know what I'm saying, welcoming me back to Africa like that. Because that's what I heard. When the dude had translated, he said that they were welcoming me. Wow. Yeah. You know, we need to go back there, man, because I, I, I haven't experienced that. I think you're trying to keep that from me, because I asked you like three or four times already, um, can we go back there? You've been busy, man. You've been busy. I've been busy with the house. You've been busy, you know, with your studio. <laughs> no, the studio just started today, so don't make nothing up. Yo, man, we have a question for you right here. Yeah, boy. Bring on the questions, buddy. Red, what's, what's your hair routine? Yeah, he's American. Huh? What's your hair routine? Cold play. You got to be more specific. What you mean, my hair routine? So you're trying to make it like, you hear me? What, what's going on, cuz? Stay some water. Because Ryan taking up the whole screen. Ashy, Larry, all red. Okay? Okay. <laughs> See, me and her. She, okay. She a buster. Oh, my God. That's, 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 that's the justice. That was screen. his problem. That was him. He came in and just took me. That wasn't me. He just bumped me off the screen. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Don't be reminded. All the, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Um, Ashy Larry. I'm like skin. So. That's my brother for life, Stacey and Sebo. That's what's up, my brother. What's up with the barbecue, the, the bride tomorrow then? Oh, and it came right back. But what yeah, what up, sis? I'm, I'm not trying to uh, miss y'all. What up, Pezzo? What up, Maya? Uh, yes, Reg, share your hair routine. I'm trying, I'm trying something different. <laughs> I got a bald head. <laughs> Coldplay says, "How do you get it plated?" 
they come a back. Platter. Oh, I go do to you the, see, uh, do you use any products? I go to the uh, to the salon. I go to the salon to get my hair braided. Uh, what's the same? Your beard needs some juices and berries. Just like your hair. <laughs> Just like your hair. Y'all, y'all know that's my wife in the background, right? Be that's that's, that's Ariel Marson. That's my wife. I'm going to light skin and shit. <laughs> <laughs> See berries and juices. I, I see that's kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> How is that racist? Because she light skinned? Because she white skinned. Oh, shit. She's white skinned. Y'all, y'all, I'm drinking water today, y'all. Looking ass. Yeah, we the drink champs. Drink of water, though. Berries and juices, light skinned. Okay, so this days, y'all. So I, uh, y'all know that my wife is leaving me in a few days to go back to the states. We're like those big hair girls at the airport. <laughs> Wait a minute. Huh? I don't know. Go play with me. We're like those big, big hair girls at the airport. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Those those girls at the airport are fine. There's some pretty women there. Yeah, but I, need, I do need my hair braided. She's more like stank champs. Red, chill out. Let me talk about your daddy. <laughs> chill out, Red. Y'all, we 30 minutes in this right here. And, um... Thank you. The, the topic. Yeah, pretty much. So, so, I don't know. Keep that shit over there. I tried not to cuss. I said it the best way I could. Keep that over there in the States, man. Don't come over here on that BS. That's why everybody ain't meant to come, man. You know, what the fuck is the fuel of car? Something like why that. Why you saying that's a remix? That's something like that. I'm not a Marine, so I don't know that. I'm, I'm a military army man. But y'all know what the Mar- Marines be saying. So so don't come over here with that madness, man. Just keep that, that inch over there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like-minded people need to come here. Open-minded people need to come here. Right. If you, because again, you're you're coming to someone else's home, right. so you know you don't go to somebody's home and put your foot on their couch. Right. You know what I mean? Take over. Here. Right. We don't want to take over anything. We then we uh, we just here to like understand what's going on and be a part. It's about sharing, man. Really. I, I look at it as like when we, we when we got take brought over there, like. We had something taken away from us, and we're coming home to get that back from the people that stayed here. You know what I'm saying? They can help us learn what we lost, and at the same time, we can give them some of the knowledge that we gained from where we come from. So for exchange, ain't no weapon. So yeah. they come over there because we already got a bad influence on us. On them, you know what I mean? With the gangster rap and the gangs and stuff, because they got gangs out here. Don't never think they don't. They got gangs out here, but it ain't, it ain't big like guys. But just to see them doing gang banging in Africa, it's like this. Well, you know where it come from? The movies. We got to be more conscious of what we put out there as, as black people. You know what I'm saying? Because I hope people see we got people looking up to us in other countries. Yeah. We, all, all over, man. The black culture, the black influence is deep. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta be mindful of what we put out there, man. They 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 following our good and our bad. Yeah. Um, Big Chris, what's up, man? Uh, water and juice. I thought y'all would be bust up. Nah, not yet, man. I'm trying to do better, man. I know because I was on one podcast a few weeks ago and I said some stuff that I shouldn't have said. So I was on his podcast and yeah, I said I- a few things and um, I regret saying them. But, you know, a friend of mine told me, if it's the truth, why well, regret saying it? Mm. She knows she is. Thank you for telling me that. But I still kind of like regret saying what I said on someone else's podcast. I was like, delete all that shit, baby. <laughs> delete all that shit, baby. So, so you ain't going to be able to go to my page and see that shit. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you with me, and I'll, I'll open it up and let y'all see what this nigga was saying. He put his foot in his mouth. 
Uh, Red, put what put the comment on the screen. What comment, Red? Man, you over there talking about the man back. Who's that? Talking Call about you. the man bag. Are you gonna talk about your man bag? Are you gonna talk about your man? Bag? I don't have one. Bro, don't do it. I don't have one. Don't do that, man. I don't have Claudia. So, so you Claudia, first off, first off, what they do first off, how do you even know what is going on in this household? Is y'all talking about me on y'all podcast? <laughs> they talking about me on their podcast. I've man. never brought it up. If you wasn't there, I never brought it up. But we can keep this going. Let's talk about the man bag that you have, Ronnie. Let's talk about the man bag that you influenced me to get. I'm okay. just following my elders. Okay, I'm fine with that. You is my elder, but I never got and, it though. So you got one so, that's right so, there. So can you show your man so bag? The only reason we went to the store, can you show your man bag? The only reason we went to the store is because he wanted a, a man bag. And I said, man, don't call him a man bag. Call him a satchel. You did not, you did not say that. You didn't say that. He wanted to match red. They wanted to have matching <laughs> bags. They picked out a brown leather one. And they was like, bag, you like this? You like bag? I like that. And he walked, you know how you walk with your hand to the side like that and you switch your hand. Who was doing like, that? That's how he was doing oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, bro, no homo. I was like, pause. You can't. And then, some some guy from New York came and I say, man, New York niggas don't rock those. And some just as we said that, a nigga from New York came in with a man, a man bag. bag. And you decide to buy and, yours. And I decide, yeah, it's cool now. It's cool. So New Yorkers influence you like that to buy a man bag? Y'all supposed show your man bag. I supposedly started rap. See his man see bag. It. See it. And it's bad, G. It's Yo. so bad. I got everything up here. But I, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm just they they everywhere down here. Am I lying? No, no. They everywhere down here. No. The and only, they're very convenient. The only thing you need now is a pair of red bottoms. That's all you need now is a pair of red bottoms, and you're good. This right? coming from the person <laughs> that we that we went in store for him, not red, but him. <laughs> red picked one up because of him. I picked one up because of him, and that one the nigga saw. We was getting hot and he was like, ah, let me go back up in the shadows. Yo, you be saying he don't have one. You I'm be telling y'all. You can get him a little cute little puppy to put right inside that bag and he can walk and swing his arm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, sing, and sing Katy Perry songs while you rap, while you walking down the street. Every every this nigga's a trainer, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> He he joined on me that first day and he said he wasn't gonna join on me no more. He's he stopped for maybe what five hours and not every day. It's been a damn satchel joke. We don't carry man backs here, only a few people. Lies, and Ronnie is a few of the people. <laughs> lies, 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 bro. Everywhere we go, don't we see man bags and those those hats like that? I don't see anything. I see, I see your man back. You see, you see how quick he be trained. Claudia, <laughs> yes, a little, chi a little chihuahua and his man bag. <laughs> what a, what a, what a little bow on each one, of, on each one of the ears. Hey, hey, y'all say what y'all want. I'm a trendsetter, so I'm a trendsetter, and I'm just following my elder right here. It's my elder. <laughs> Khalees, what's up, my brother? When these two get to, when these two are together, there's trouble. I say amen. And we waiting on you, Khalees. We waiting on you. But let's get back to your man bag. Bro. Yo, we went after he got his man bag, we went to the we went and got our nails and stuff done. He's red got man. red got peach. He got pink. Yo, we <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay. Hey. Y'all ever see ET? I know y'all see ET. <laughs> Y'all, y'all saw her. He's like, ET, e bro. This nigga feet look just like ET. Mm -hmm. long, long is this about this long? I wear a size thirteen. You wear a size twelve. Eleven and a half. Okay. Eleven and a half. Yo, y'all, they were scraping his feet. You saw just snow. You <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sound like sandpaper and snow was just going there. It was snowing in South Africa, y'all. <laughs> hey, because it's been months since I got a pedicure. Yo, it was snowing in South Africa. It's not live like that. She was spreading that motherfucker with the same paper. Yo, she put her glasses on. She put a mask on and she was like, yo. Nah, that's live. That's cap. That's cap. That's cap. She was really comfortable with my foot because it's a beautiful foot besides the extra dead skin. But I'm a man. I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? All niggas' feet don't look good. You know? I, I, I was, it was like two, three months since I had a pedicure. So it was a build up. But now my feet, I can show y'all. Don't do that. Don't do that. So that was a good day. We had a purse, we had nails, we had <laughs> snow all in one day. Oh man, y'all, a true story to y'all. Everything I said was true. No. Everything I said was true. Not the mask. Okay, not the mask. Yeah. But the but the nails are true. No, the feet. The feet. The feet was true. How about the how about the purse? The part I said about him was true. But that's yours though. That's not mine. Oh. So you you did you I entertained it, but no, it, no, no, no. What I didn't buy nothing. What was the reason we went in there? Because I was looking at stuff. Was what stuff? Leather. <laughs> I was looking at leather. <laughs> I'm not lying. No, no, you was looking at leather. Am I lying? Leather satchel. I was looking at leather. And I walked in there, I'm like, yo, Stacey's just too manly for this right here. And then Ronnie, Ronnie was joking. He the, Ronnie was, was joking me the whole time. That's why he changed. Ronnie was joking on me the whole time I was in there, y'all. Me and Ray was in there. Ronnie was cracking jokes. And I'm 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 touching the bag. I'm like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. Red bought a nice black polo one. And I said to myself, you know what, man? This Stacey, you too manly for this. And then as soon as I said that, Ronnie said, I'm going to get me one after that guy from New York came in. I sure did. Sure That's did. what happened. Ronnie has a man bag. He want to call it a satchel, but it's a man bag. And I, hey, I make that good. Put it on. Put it on. Strut around here. Put, strut. No, no, see, no. You see, 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 no, you don't. He put it right across there. He don't put it across his head. <laughs> Go ahead, strut, 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 strut. Continue on, continue on the uh, on the red on the red carpet and strut. That's how you do it, G. Like that. Man, back. It's called a satchel. Um. Okay, everybody's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's laughing. What did Coldplay say that was funny? Hold on. Somebody you need to say no homo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, see his nails. Nah. Does anyone of them stretch out their hands for any money? No. Ooh. I'm thinking he meant like when when you was getting your 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 feet your feet scraped from all the snow. Did any one of them? No. Think that? no. No. I wanted to tip them because they they kept making me fall asleep. You get a massage too. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 All right. It was snowing. It was snowing in um. I still remember. In that. April. It was snowing in April in South Africa. Amy, I still remember your name. You had them hands, girl. The knees. Straight to sleep three times. Stacy switch up real fast. Yeah. Right. 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 Trey. Deborah, you're supposed to be on my side. Deborah was the one made that comment back then. <laughs> yeah. Amuse. Okay. What's here? What's here? It's a real man bro day. It was a real man's bro day. <sighs> I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, it was real man. See, I have confidence in my manhood 
I, 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 I swag with my bravado. So I am confident in my, my man there. So I, I wear my socks with pride. And, and then I don't have to have all that stuff in my pockets, making my pants fall down. Because one thing y'all don't know, you know what I'm saying? I got to have this. Because I ain't got no ass. So whatever I wear is falling off of my boobs, G. No homo. But I don't have no ass, man. So when I wear pants, when I put shit heavy in my pocket, I got to keep on pulling on my damn pants. Thanks, mama, for that flat ass. Uh, Khalees said, Ronnie, <laughs> tell us about the strip clubs and the sleigh queens. I want to live vicariously through you. Oh, man, strip clubs, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's nice. It's nice. Man, the difference is American strip club you got all the prosthetic ass. Here is genuine, authentic, 100% grade A, natural homegrown ass. <laughs> Nash everywhere. They call it Nash. Nash everywhere. Nash. 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 Oh my God. Nash everywhere. So Trina says, oh my, y'all need to have to, y'all gonna have to go back and watch that episode of Martin. She said they went to work on Ronnie's feet like Shanae, Shanae did. I think it's Shanae. Yeah, that's Shanae. Yeah. Did Myra. Yeah. On yeah, Myra. Y'all yeah. need to go watch that episode. Yo. It wasn't, it, it wasn't that bad, Yo. but. I told the lady it, to go it, to the it, back and get the sand machine. I it, said, go to the back and get the sand machine. It's going to be ugly. Red feet was like that, too. No, nah, you're not going to lie on my wife. <laughs> She ain't here to defend herself. She ain't here to defend herself. As soon as I say she's not here, she pops up. <laughs> Lurking. She probably will pop her head it's around cool. the day. Have, but not it. Art said, it's cool. I have one, but not as big as not as big as, as, as masculine. But see, Ronnie have like a, a, a full-grown person. He said he's going to get one of every color, too. This you and Red, that's what you and Red said. No, y'all. Red said you don't want to match every y'all outfit. Y'all was about to match. Y'all was about to match. Then they went to try to find. You know where where, where uh, you used to get the uh, the 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 words colored on your shirt. They went and tried to get their own T-shirts made with these satchels. That's what they did. I don't, I don't, and I don't have one. You got one. I don't have one. You got one. So another thing, you and Stacey have in common: long backs. <laughs> See, she, 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 she needs to stay her ass up. Hey, delete her. Delete her. I'm getting a block for y'all. You about to get blocked up there. I'm talking. going to block my wife. Talking all oh, shit. Clarence, if only other brothers understood that. What up, cousin? You don't Brandon. go to someone else's Love house you some and do as you please. Amen, Clarence. Right, we guess here. Amen. We guess. But we know that we have to understand. We're permanent guests. Right. We live permanent guest star. We live here now. Treat us as South African Americans. Yes, man. I, I wish, honestly, I wish I'd take the American off of it. Hey, Stacey, did the lady wear goggles too? Yes, you ain't here the beginning of it. She had goggles on. Man, if y'all don't if y'all don't change the subject, I'm gonna knock all this shit over. <laughs> I'm not about to be the button. She said block her. Yes, right. I'm gonna block her. I'm gonna block her. Like, you, you be blocking them white women that be saying dumb stuff. Right. You're gonna block her, y'all. What's up, Makisha? What's up, cuz? What's up, Brandon? What's up, oh. cuz? What's up, Denise? You all welcome here. Thanks, Sia. Thanks, Sia. See, you man, I wish, you know, I wish you could have gotten on yesterday. It was yesterday? Yeah. Because um, I know you had some good words of wisdom. Clanna said, I love Sue's man back. See, I'm not the only one that crack jokes. So why you don't you, so why can they crack jokes, but I can't crack jokes? No, because you ain't you was the author of this. Like you the man. But why can't I crack jokes? Everybody has to crack jokes, and you ain't tell them you was gonna you was gonna like knock their stuff over. I was respect. You know how I say respect your elders? I was respecting my elders and his thoughts and wishes. We came in there to get a man back, and, and I was just encouraging him. And then I followed his lead because he was about to buy one. And then he changed his mind because he, uh, he, he got scared. scared. He got scared. He got scared. No, I didn't get scared. I just, I was like, yo, man, Stacey, Stacey's a, a real man. A real man. And he can't, he can't be wearing no, 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 uh, no man bag. No purse. 
man. No pocky book. What's the name got one? Who? Uh, no, I bet you. Art got one too, but he said he's just not as big as yours. But I can't be wearing no pocky book. That's the pocky book. Yo, he said he's look like this with the whole episode. Yo, I'm gonna tell y'all what he said, and if he lying on this right here, y'all, he said he's gonna put his his uh his going out clothes in it in his bag. Yo, what you call it? The overnight bag, the overnight clothes. What you guys said? Oh my whole bag. Cause yeah, he said that's gonna be his whole bag, <laughs> but that turned out to be his everyday bag. Every day since he left, got that bag. He wear that bag every day. Khalees, don't you got a bag, man? I bet you. I bet you Khalees got a bag. Real, well, man. Khalees, Real Khalees, man wear a bag. Khalees from California, so he might. Oh, see what he's saying about Cal? That's what them New York niggas be doing. <laughs> they be coming for you, boy. And what he say? Real man. <laughs> Mercy. Yeah. Mercies. Well, it's a statue. That's still a, yeah. it's a statue. It's, it's just a smaller version of a backpack. Be Beverly, Man, no, you, it's not Beverly. The, no, it's not Beverly. The, <laughs> you is the truth. You the goat. You the truth. No, it's day. not Beverly. Hey, go to my page and subscribe, Beverly. Beverly. I never saw this. Name. This is a book sack. This is a book sack. Smaller version. This is the book sack. Don't they look just the same? No, no, no. Same. No. All relevant stuff in there, you know? No makeup, none of that shit. All that stuff. If you dig deep enough, you might find some in there. I got some goddamn uh, uh, Okay, y'all. It was fun with the jokes. It's time for us to go. I want to go out. And, I want to go out, man. Let's go out. He lying. Police, you mean man first. Thank you, Clannis. A man person. It's not a man person, it's a satchel. Y'all must be real disrespectful on this live. <laughs> Just because y'all is his, his subscribers. Y'all are really subscribers too. My my subscribers better not be turning on me like that. Oh. Delete all that shit back. You got his man first and eating gummy bears. Gummy worms. So y'all don't eat gummy birds? Gummy worms? I got kids. I eat shit like that. He said, he said, y'all ain't got no love to the Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> might not know what that means, but Snoop came on a, on, a, on a, I think it was the BET Awards. It was doing the doing the um the height of East Coast West Coast battle, and Snoop was like, "Yo, y'all ain't got no love to Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre," and he said that twice, and uh. But the thing I give Snoop props for that man, because he was in the state of New York. And it was like he could have got done. But you know, he's he's a real one. Okay. See, Zoe said it's a satchel. What's Zoe ain't in the comments? Oh Thank you, Zoe. Zoe don't know nobody. <laughs> the name and logo on this live looks dope. Are you guys by any chance going to set up a studio as well? Yeah. C Ray. I went out today. I bought a table. I bought some chairs. I need some uh, some stuff to put on the wall. I got uh, a mic so the sound will be be top top notch. Thank you, TP. I told y'all I was gonna get this done. And um, yeah, man. Uh, hopefully by Sunday, y'all see a whole new setup. You know what I'm saying? Cause we really trying to do this. Yeah. Word up, B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm if we gonna have this be some words of my mother, bro. I, I didn't put the whole England. I didn't even try to put that in. I'm trying to do New York. You hear it? You hear it coming out of here? Yeah. We own New York ass. So yes, yes, we are folks. We doing all of that, brother man. Um, like I said, hopefully by Sunday everything will be situated. Because I'm pretty sure tomorrow we might go out because it's Freedom Day, so we might be in them streets. And we might try to do a little shopping. Clarence. That's this weekend. That's this weekend. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Sunday? Yeah, that's fine. Um, Clarence, if you ain't got nothing going on tomorrow, come hang out, man. Let's do this. Let's do breakfast and get our nails done like Ronnie get his done, you know, and have a good time. You, you know, that's when people is jealous when your shit look like this. Clarence was... said, at Assad's, I was looking at Ronnie's nails. 
all shiny and, and all. No, 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 uh, what's that shit? No, uh, thinking that problem. It's just buff. I'm a man that say, girl, my hands and my feet. Your feet don't look like that, though. <laughs> 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 Yo. So what y'all think Tony would be doing? Yo, it was raining. It was it was snowing up in that boat, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> but I must I, I do admit you had one good joke the whole time when you said he can grab something with his feet, with his toes, something like that. You said you, know, you can grab something with your toes. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's a good joke that you said. Oh, uh, when I when the lady was trying to get the uh, polish for you, I said polish. He just he <laughs> just grab it with his feet and hand it to you. <laughs> Hey yo, <laughs> hey yo, the lady was doing his feet and she put some kind of sudsy stuff on his toes. And he's like, hey, hey, what's that? Don't, don't you put nothing on my toes. Hey, I thought she was about to pop she was about about to, toes. Yeah, because you told her to. The only reason why nah. she stopped is I was there. Nah. nah, on the other hand, him and his wife gonna have matching thumbnail polish. He said, nah, just give me black and it look cool. I'm like, nigga, you know I'm down here, right? <laughs> <laughs> you trying to whisper to his wife <laughs> and see pumping a little baby, you gonna be all right. It looks good. All right, dude. Khalees, nice fam. Happy for y'all. We're looking on our step ups too. We're working on our step ups too. All right. Hey Stace, are you guys doing the big event in June? Uh, what do you talk about, Art? The big event in June. In June, we might be in in, in, in Babylon because we're going to get our visa, man. We'll be ready to get back here and be like legal. We don't have to be bored of hopping no more. I don't want to do that no more, man. I want to be here, walk with my head up. I mean, I'm already doing that as it is. I just want to be legal, man. So we might leave out of here in a couple of weeks, get our visa, and come back here and have a, and, 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 I, and not have to worry about nothing. Yeah. If that's what you're talking about, uh, uh, Art, uh, you can't get the shine just by buffing, too. Right. Man. Man, Zoe. Is that Zoe? She is the true G. Stranger said, and the pinky rings. There you go. There you go. There you go. Everybody know, man, the U.S. government. Should be a hand model or some shit. You can, but just don't be no foot model. <laughs> Probably for Juneteenth, which is June 19th. Um, I'm hoping that we can be back by June 19th. I hope so. But all right, what you're talking about, it didn't it didn't work out. They didn't accept our price. Uh no, I meant the kids from uh Dipslo, Dyslo, how you pronounce it? Did any of those kids ask super oh, oh any no. kids? No. I wanted to give them money, but it happened so fast. Now they didn't ask for no money. Nobody at all they did. One person did. Yes. They was but they was drinking though, so they was out of their element. They asked for one dollar each American money. I'm like, oh. But all right, I got my grill. Everybody's in the chats. I got my smoke. Everybody know I know how to I, well, everybody know what I do. At some point when we get back, I'm gonna try to uh set something up. Smoke up the neighborhood, you know, put some ribs, uh, some chicken, maybe a brisket pork butt on the grill. And um and some ostrich. Some ostrich. Yuck. It tastes too wild, hey, man. You, and we're gonna do something off. big. We're gonna do something big. You know, so just stay tuned for that. I'll let y'all know a little more about that later. And wild um, war. Freedom Day is related to apartheid, correct? Uh, people in the chats, please let Deborah know. It's Freedom Day related. I think it is 1994. Um, Sia, my brother, digest and joy Sia essay to the fullest. Don't mind the small negativity from our local brothers and sisters. Bro, we good, man. We, it's a part, it's just a part of the process. Right. You know, we good. You know, I'm hoping once people start seeing us more in the malls, because I'm in the mall a lot, you know, Sibu's in the mall a lot. And hopefully, it's, you know, people just come around and be like, you know, just treat us. You know, the same way you treat each other. You know, don't look at me as American. Just look at me as, as another black person, as another brother. That's all I want. Because when I, when I see people, that's what I do. 
You know, I treat them as if, you know, I knew them forever. Right. Uh, Deborah, yeah, it's to celebrate the end of it. Uh, Deborah got a little foggy up, up in there. Don't understand, Deborah. She probably trying to join about Deborah gets is going to end up part time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C Ray, is your podcast targeting U.S. or SA market or both? And is your host going to be me, U.S. citizens? In both SA U.S. citizens, SA has TV soapies for everyone except AA African Americans. And what's your take on that? Let me read that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Read that one. That was a lot. Is your podcast is your podcast talking in the U.S. and S.A. market or both? It's targeting both. You know, um, after we do it, we got it. I'm, I'm assuming he mean in the, the real, the real, real show. yeah, the reality show. Yes, it's going to target both, and hopefully, you know, we can do something and somebody can pick it up, and um, we can do big things, man. That's what I hope. Uh, we don't we don't really watch soapies. Uh, well, we do watch Young and Restless. Me and my wife, we watch Young and Restless. We've been watching that for the past 10 years, 15 years. My dad and my mom watch that show. My elder. Yeah. Thank you, Clannis. Deborah. Age. Oh, and th <laughs> thanks, Coldplay. Art said, and some Cambodian, Cambodian neck bones. Uh, uh, uh. Being them days of day we black people were first allowed to vote in 1994. Wow. Uh, Panis, Deborah, and 27 like people in South Africa went to the first democratic election, marking the end of apartheid. Right, that's the last. known as a Freedom Day and a public holiday. Look, but that's the last of the knowledge drop. And we're not about to get into that like the other. Like, <laughs> we're not doing that shit. <laughs> You are messy. You are messy. Talk about me. I should tell them who you're talking about. No. You know I'm messy. Everybody, man. We got this. Uh, Stacy, by the time we have a restaurant, it should be swinging. Well, about the restaurant situation. We're, um, Ronnie is the classy dude. Only if you know Deborah. Only if you know. Not Deborah, I'm saying Miss Beverly. I ran into Miss Beverly and when she was here about uh, about a month ago, we ran into her and her husband and uh, uh, can't think where he was at. Can't think where he was at. Mel Rosar. Are you doing the nails down? No, 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 no. We was going to get drunk. Um, Deborah. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Stace, by the time I get there, the restaurant should be full swing. Deborah, when you you told me when you was coming, I don't remember though. But now the only thing with the restaurant is that you gonna have a retirement visa, so we can't make no money while we have our retirement visa. We can't make no South African rands. Put it that way, on a retirement visa. I can't even see how many people are watching. Sophie's are. Outdated and boring. Woo. You must you don't know Victor Newman. So we about to try to spice that joint up, man. Spice what up? The day, day, daytime uh, TV. You talking? How you how are you gonna spice it up? That's what I'm talking about. Who gonna spice it up though? Who gonna be? The, who's the funniest out the group? Out the crew? In your in your, we gonna let them decide. We let y'all decide. Y'all put in the chats. Who you think the funniest? No, oh, that's me. Hands down. They probably gonna say Dr. Asad. Asad ain't that funny. He funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> Talking Josh, about Ronnie Josh, P. Come on, get him. Get him. <laughs> Beverly yeah. Stacy, did you hear about Victor Newman has cancer and is not going and not doing too good? And he wants us to to show <sighs> I'd be passed away. Yeah. Brad, you are not. You are funny looking. Also, you're a big ass head. Miss Beverly, yes. She uh, says she the funny. She's not the funny. She's funny looking. Beverly, yeah, I know about Victor and Eric in this cancel situation. Me and Red was talking about that. I think yesterday. 
But it said he's doing pretty good, though. He's up there crying. Y'all put in the chat who y'all think is the funniest. For real, I want to see. I'm the funniest. I want to see what y'all say. I'm the funniest. I'm not even worried about that. They know. They know. All three. I don't grab it, bro. <laughs> All you three, know. you guys are funny. You know. <laughs> Beverly tried. Beverly, Beverly can't pick me. She don't want to hurt your heart. She don't want to hurt your heart. She showed you a subscribe. Hey, Beverly, do me a favor. Any bags that you don't need, can you mail them to Ronnie, please? Oh, Clannis said, looks like I will see you tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about, Clannis. Sometimes you just got to not respond to negativity. You know what I'm saying? We can't, we can't let those haters get you down. Yo, go. that's what she just said. Just want to reiterate the negativity you guys received is probably Damn. 1% of all the That's not even 1%. We have. I actually think those profiles are fake. They may be. They may be. Maybe. I mean, we get, when I tell you, we get a lot of love from SA. A lot, a lot, a lot of love. I don't think y'all understand. <laughs> That's right, Deborah. He's messy. Miss Beverly said it. Miss Beverly said it. Stays aside and red. Stays aside and red. Red. Little red. The one upstairs. There you go. That's your, that's your subscriber. No, I think she's yours too. I never saw it. She's yours too. Don't hate. Need, she need to go over there and subscribe. <laughs> it's grade eight. There you so go. I can see her more often. And then you'll see me. I am the funniest man on this land. Trina, I have to agree with you on that. Asaz laugh by itself. Even if he's not saying anything funny, his laugh by itself is hilarious. Right, exactly. It is, it is. But that's it, though. Other than that, he's not that funny. It's right here, man. It's right here. Well, if I don't take that, I'm the handsomest. <laughs> See? Look. Look. <laughs> She, she just subscribed. No, she was already subscribed. I saw it in the chat before. No, I never saw that. Everybody in, the, everybody in the comments, please subscribe to Red's channel. He's don't say on, it he's like that. Don't, don't say it like that. He's, he's getting not, all sensitive. He's tomorrow, he's, tomorrow he's, he's going to wind up being all disappointed and, and <clears throat> hurt, butt hurt. So you know what happens when people get butt hurt. They go spend money on their nails and buy man bags and stuff like that. So... Y'all, please make him feel better. Don't just, don't. Let it, just let it pass, man. Just let it pass. You know how that negativity just let it go on over there. But yeah, what I, I, I had, I had a thought, man. I had a thought, but it was good, man. I was about to say something. It was profound too. Mmm, profound. It was profound. It's not Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie boy. Yeah, boy. Ronnie is banned. Banned. Left in the United States. Clannis, what time are you rolling through tomorrow? In Babylon. Let's go, Clan. Oh, Clannis, let's go to let's go to Four Ways tomorrow, and you can buy that paint for me yes. and see how much they charge me. Right. We should do a social experiment. On that. Beverly, I said that when I first met Assad, and when I first seen him online, that he laughs like Tommy. Just like Tommy. Yeah. That's what I Beverly, Miss Beverly, you remember you remember that that movie? Um. Hulam, not Hulam, Harlem Nights. Yeah. You know, when uh when Tommy was on that he was his name wasn't Tommy there. I can't remember what his name was, but um I showed him. I can't remember what his name was, but uh I lost my train of thought too. He was bald head like he Yeah, was. he was bald. He was what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one of them slappy heads. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't y'all want to go up tomorrow and people will be like, slappy heads? No, I can't remember the guy's name, but I remember one episode he was like, quick, you killed my brother. And they were shooting the gun. Yeah, yeah I can't yeah, remember his yeah. name, though. Clannis, where do you stay? Okay, y'all, we go, me and Ronnie going out. You go, just go around the corner. You want to go nowhere? He's not going nowhere. For real. I ain't got nothing to do. Let's go around the corner, get a drink or two. We need to go to the strip club. Oh, shit. 
No, let's wait to go to the strip club with red leaves. Yeah. Let's go to the strip club then. <laughs> <laughs> I ran up there and saw I heard shit falling. I heard shit falling upstairs and shit. And ass. Y'all. Peace out, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Oh, what was we going to call our, our podcast when we make it? Um, your, your, your South African name. Yeah. Say it. Uh, <laughs> Ja, oh, ja, ja, I can never remember it, man. Jabushi. Something like that. Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> I was jumping. This is not Clannis, how you pronounce it, Clannis? Jabuti. <laughs> it's Jabuti. It's big Jabuti. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. My guy, my guy in Delhi gave me the name. You know, I don't, I don't, me and him don't rock like that, but I let him give me a name. So, uh, Pause. uh, J- oh, Jabroni. <laughs> Something like that. Oh my God. I'm still, okay. Oh, I can't, I definitely can't pronounce that name. How do you pronounce that? Niggas can't read. Just, uh, I don't know. Okay. She says, he or she says, I remember Ronnie's first interview after he left, 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 left SA last year. He was interviewed by Dr. Latasha and Mark. Yeah. That's my people. For real South Africa. They the, they the, um, the, 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 Pioneers of this movement that we have. I agree with that. Grassroots movement that we have going that. on. They done brought a lot of people here, man. A lot of people. Those are my people, man. I agree. They did. They did bring a lot of people. Yeah, that interview though, I was man, my, my little soul was hurt. I did not want to go back to uh the sunken place, aka Babylon. And then we got we had people that had a problem with us calling. United States Babylon. Do y'all think that's Babylon? If y'all really know what Babylon is, I mean, y'all know that's that's, that's Babylon. It's going down. Jabu. What is it? Jabu. 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 Um, see, see ya. Come on, bro. You know you're always welcome to come, man. We don't know what we're gonna go at though, really. Uh. Hit up four ways more. I gotta see my wife want to do also. I can't make plans without you know talking to her. Um, but we can come on through it, man. We can uh, we can have a good time. Shataya, Rod, hello, Julius Miley, um, Ryan Owens. What's up, huh? I can't even see how many people is watching me. I gotta, I gotta. This was ex- an experience. Experiment. This was an experiment with Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I, I got my GoPro and I'm in my eye with it to see how it works. You know what I'm saying? See if we can do this simultaneously. I was supposed to be over there. But uh, yeah, we're just trying. We're just trying new stuff so we can elevate, elevate, take this to another level. We're going to have a studio soon. So, what it was going to be busy tomorrow? Well, that's what we're going to be at. We're going to hang out at the well, what, what, yeah, what else we got to do? I called my homeboy early. He told me, come on out there. That's the guy I was on the phone with? Yeah, he lives in Soweto. How you doing, sir? I right, you know. Y'all, we get ready to go, man. I'm going to the club with or without Ronnie. He's not going nowhere, man. He's not going I'm 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 going to the strip club. I'm going to the strip club. I really need to see some different people in my life. Ronnie, have you heard of the Nigerian singer called Rima? Sings Calm Down with Selena Gomez. It's an Afrobeat song. Yeah. Baby, calm down. Calm down. Good evening. Good evening. That's um 
How y'all spending a long weekend? It's Freedom Day tomorrow. We're gonna be in Soweto. I got some, we got some business to handle at Four Ways Mall, depending on what time planners get here. And we're gonna go to Soweto tomorrow, y'all. That's what we're gonna do. This is the second time I heard Soweto's gonna be really busy tomorrow. So why not be a part of the busyness? You got some you got some things you gotta do, but what, what time? Okay, okay. Supposed to be looking at some houses tomorrow with the uh, realtor, but um, if it's a if it's a holiday, that might not happen. Ah, uh, well, scrap that. I ain't been seeing no this year anyway. Uh, okay, you ready to get off for real this time? Yeah. Peace out, y'all. Peace out. Change your name to make sure you subscribe. Red's grade eight. Make sure you subscribe. Our reality show coming soon. The real, the real lives of South African Americans coming soon. Subscribe, like, share, be a part of this movement, y'all. Because we're gonna do something really, 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 really big. That's a promise. Peace out. My own, my own signature. Peace out, y'all. Oh shit. What you say? <laughs> All right, what, what are you talking about, man? See y'all on Facebook. Love y'all. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, okay. All right. What's wrong with you, man? Why you like? What's wrong with you? Oh. Oh. What's up, bro? What up with it, bro? It's fair. That's even about to go do your thing, huh? Man. Peace out, y'all.